Hi, I'm Lisa Wiskowski, and I am the Director of Financial Aid for Duke University Graduate School. I would like to introduce my colleague, Caroline Morris. Hi, I'm Caroline Morris. I am the Fellowship Coordinator for the Graduate School at Duke University. And today, Lisa and I are gonna be answering uh, some of the questions that have been submitted to the Graduate School from incoming students. I'm going to start first and I'm going to talk about the questions that are most relevant to the PhD students and then Lisa will discuss master's questions. So my first question that we received is, is my stipend taxable income and how much is withheld for taxes? The graduate school cannot answer tax questions for students and we encourage you to speak with a certified tax professional. How is the stipend disbursed to me? The stipend for students is disbursed on either the 25th or the last business day of the month, starting in August, depending on your admitting program. You can set up direct deposit with the payroll office. When will I receive my first stipend payment? Incoming first year doctoral students receive their first stipend payment in August on the 25th or the last business day of the month, depending on the student's admitting program. Is it true that stipend payments for PhD students increase based on inflation every year? The graduate school does its best to increase the stipends for doctoral students each academic year. Is there any financial support for moving or traveling to Duke or Durham? Yes, there are two available loans for PhD students, the McKinney Loan Program and the Duke Federal Credit Union Loan Program. The funds for these loans can be dispersed in August once the matriculating student has arrived in Durham. Are there any funding opportunities for the summer before classes begin? We encourage you to contact your admitting department about possible summer opportunities prior to fall matriculation. Is there a tuition waiver for the summer session? Tuition is not waived. Tuition scholarships can be provided depending on the program year of study, and external sponsor guidelines if you're funded externally. If a graduate student is not receiving financial support or stipend in summer, is not enrolled in classes, and is not completing any program milestones, they typically do not need to enroll in summer semester. I am an admitted PhD student planning on bringing my spouse with me during my studies. What amount should be certified on my account to show proof of funding for my student visa application? Students in this situation should consult with Duke's Visa Services Office to receive advice on the potential level of dependent support you will need to demonstrate. My first year is paid by a teaching assistantship, but what about subsequent years? Departments are expected to notify their graduate students each academic year what their level of support will be and how it will be provided, whether it's by teaching assistantship, research assistantship, fellowship, or another method. Will my financial aid cover expenses for my spouse or other dependents? A doctoral student's funding package meets the cost of attendance for the doctoral student. International students who bring dependents should speak to the visa services about the potential level of dependent support they will need to demonstrate during the visa application process. Will I receive more financial aid if I arrive with external health insurance? Eligible PhD students who provide proof of alternate insurance that meets the waiver criteria laid out on Duke Student Affairs website may be permitted to waive the Duke Student Insurance and receive a health insurance waiver incentive payment in November. Are teaching assistantships automatically assigned to students? Please contact your admitting department regarding teaching assistantship assignments and how they're made. If I need to apply for a teaching assistantship or research assistantship position, should I contact my department now or after I'm matriculated? Go ahead and contact your admitting department with this question. And this is the last question for my section. When does my health insurance start? The Duke Student Medical Insurance Plan starts August 1st each year. Now Lisa's going to take over and answer some questions relevant to master's students. Lisa? Thank you, Caroline. The first question we have is, 
when can matriculated students expect to receive a financial aid package? PhD students should have received their financial aid packages shortly after being offered admission, unless they're funded by an external sponsor. For domestic master students who have completed the FAFSA, financial aid awards will be determined in mid-March and students should receive their financial aid packages during the first week of April. Students who submit their FAFSA after this date should receive a financial aid notification approximately two weeks after the graduate school has received an official FAFSA filing. What financial aid options exist for domestic master students? Support for master students varies by program. Prospective and current students are encouraged to speak to the program director for specific details on the financial support packages available along with any employment questions. Duke University School financial aid packages for master students are limited to the federal financial aid programs under direct lending. To be considered for federal financial aid, which includes federal work study, you must complete the FAFSA application. What financial aid options exist for international master students? Master students can review the recommended lender listing with the student loan office. Their website is studentloans.duke.edu. Are there departmental fellowships for master students? Please reach out to your admitting department to inquire. How much can I earn for a part-time work on campus? That is up to your employer. How do international students need to pay for their first installment? Tuition bills for the fall semester are due the first business day of August. For additional details regarding your fall bills or to establish a payment plan, contact the bursar at bursar.duke.edu. I received a scholarship to attend Duke. Is there any way to ask for an increase in the scholarship amount? Please check with your admitting department. How much does a master's program cost? The cost of attendance is available at gradschool.duke.edu under financial support, cost to attend. What are the maximum number of credit hours a master's student can enroll in per semester without incurring additional charges? A master's student can enroll in nine to 15 units. Additional units in excess of 15 require approval from the Graduate School Academic Affairs Office. How successful are master students at repaying their student loans before beginning a PhD program? That is up to the student and how much they can afford to repay toward their student loans. Personal finance at Duke is a good resource. Do master students have a good chance of securing funding for their second year of studies? It's the same as the first year. A new FAFSA filing is required. How capable are master students of repaying their student loans in a timely fashion after graduation? Students are required to complete exit counseling. This addresses questions on what type of repayment plan works best for your individual needs. Are Perkins loans available to master students? Unfortunately not. The Perkins loan were part of a federal budget cut several years ago. Is housing something that students look for themselves? Yes, a good resource is dukelist.duke.edu. You will not have access to this website until you matriculate. How do I obtain in-state resident status as an international student? Please contact the International House regarding resident status. Tuition and fee charges are the same for all students, whether they are confirmed as in-state or out-of-state. What are the financial aid application requirements for international students? Students on F1, J1 visas are not eligible to apply for federal loans as those are restricted to US citizens and permanent residents. There are private loans available to international students and each lender may have differing criteria. So international students should speak directly with the loan providers to determine what requirements are necessary for borrowing. Students can also speak to their admitting department to learn if there are any scholarship opportunities available. Is there a VA office available to assist with veteran benefits? Yes, Duke has a veterans office to assist with verifying your eligibility. Does Duke offer any support for purchasing laptops, computers, and other supplies for incoming students? For domestic master students, please review the professional judgment information on the graduate school's website under financial support. 
PhD students, please review the McKinney loan option or Duke Federal Credit Union. This can be found under financial support on the graduate school website. Are there any opportunities for master students to receive federal work study? This is only applicable to students who have submitted their FAFSA. And finally, when will I get access to my financial aid account at Duke University? After matriculation, students are able to access Duke Hub with their net ID. Thank you very much, Lisa. If, you, if uh, you have additional questions for the financial aid team at the graduate school, you're always welcome to submit them to the grad-finaid at duke.edu uh, email address, and we'll be happy to reply to you. Thank you for watching. Thanks.